This is the Friday evening KRQE.com webcast. John Smith starts with the weather. Well, we will be looking for the winds to continue to go down through the overnight hours. And along with the winds going down, we are also watching the temperatures to go down. Temperatures will be in the single digits and teens across much of northern New Mexico. And Albuquerque will be in the 20s and down to the south even. We're looking at 20s and 30s. But the good news is those colder temperatures are short-lived. We will still be on the cool side tomorrow, but we will start to see those temperatures rebound. And as we move into Sunday, we warm up even more with the winds continuing to go down. We'll be reduced to little more than just a very very light breeze by the time we reach Sunday afternoon with temperatures continuing to warm up at least into early next week. Governor Susana Martinez went to a Rio Rancho school today to sign the first state budget that increases spending in four years. The $5.6 billion spending plan includes a $90 million increase for education. It also adds money for Medicaid, tax reform, and increased pay for state workers. Lawmakers did not pass the governor's key education initiative, the ban on social promotion, but she said she was happy that they approved her two business tax cuts aimed at creating jobs. So we did it in, in a bipartisan way. We didn't get everything, but not every governor gets everything that they want. So I was pleased that we have tax reform, um, but we have to continue to work towards that so that at the end of the day, our unemployment keeps going down. The budget will increase state spending by $220 million next year. As Rio Rancho investigates three suspicious incidents involving students near school bus stops, Roswell police now have a similar case of their own. Officers say a man grabbed a nine-year-old girl by the arm as she was walking home from Del Norte Elementary School yesterday. They say she screamed for him to let her go. That drew attention to herself, so he did release her and then apologized before he took off. Police do not know who the man is. They're stepping up patrols in the area before and after school. Join us for all the latest news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10 o'clock.